I'm Jeremy with Rockland Wheels, here today with the Honda 450L. This is a very much anticipated motorcycle. Uh, Honda, true to form, builds amazing motocross bikes, known for reliability, known to finish every race that they start. And what they did with the 450L is produce a road-going version of the 450R as close as you can get. This is a road-going uh, road 450R, and anybody who's going to argue is going to nitpick. The biggest difference, Honda wanted to make a bike that you could actually use. So this has a six-speed transmission, versus the motocross only has a four-speed. By doing so, your engine's a little wider, meaning the frame had to be a little bit wider to accommodate the engine. Uh, but that's not taken away from anything and as well as the tuning on this bike and to make it legal, to make a bike street legal, probably the biggest restriction apart from emissions would have been the noise level. The noise level on a 450R is a race bike. The thing is screaming, it's yelling and everything. You can't have that on the road legally from a manufacturer. So the pipe on this had to uh, address those things to make it street legal. Apart from making it street legal, Honda fitted this bike with everything you need to tackle the roughest trails. It's a true enduro bike. It's a true bike that can do an MX track with the proper rider um, uh, and true to form, reliable. This is probably what you're not seeing out there is a, a bike that has this much performance as a dual sport bike, but it's gonna keep on kicking. You're not gonna be able to beat it up. So true to form, Honda overbuilt this bike. The entire subframe in the back is still aluminum and it's probably the strongest subframe that's on the market. Meant to just take a kick in and you could pull on it, yank on it, lift the bike from it, you're not gonna hurt it. The suspension on it is tuned fantastically. This is a real trail bike. You could tackle the trails and really rip and just go crazy on it and not have a problem. The tuning of the engine gave you a little bit low end power and it doesn't scream as much. So that they move that whole power band a little bit lower. Not to say that they're not putting power in this bike. So what we're seeing out of an MX450 right now is very close to and sometimes exceeding 60 horsepower. This bike is still going to have roughly 45 horsepower on a bike that's around 270 pounds. So pound per power, it's pretty impressive and way out classes the 250L uh, or the KLX 250. This is a real trail weapon that is street legal. For us in our region around Ottawa, uh, the cool thing on the Quebec side, there is a pilot program where if you have a dual sport bike like this, you can buy your trail pass and do all the ATV trails. So still hearing that power from that small displacement engine, let's give this thing a rev. Yeah, if you're looking for the true dual sport, but you want the motocross performance, this is downplayed a little bit from a 450i MX bike, but it is a road legal 450i. And one of the biggest constraints they have is the noise volume. So the exhaust has to meet a different sound, and that did affect quite a bit. But you wouldn't know it. The power is, uh, is so impressive. And not many people can max out a 450 either way. And this is a particularly rough road. And that's where you know you're driving a motocross. I don't really feel it. I could take the worst of the punishment the road has to offer, and it's no big deal. But with that added power, you know, if you compare it to uh, the 250L or something like that, which is kind of anemic on power, this one has less of a problem at those highway speeds. It's a lot more comfortable. <laughs> 